Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you some of my favorite nude lipsticks. Uh, someone had previously requested a lipsticks collection video, but I decided I would do it in different parts. So today I'm going to sh show you all my favorite nude lipsticks, and then um, hopefully later on I'll show you all the other colors that I have. But I definitely have a thing for nude lipsticks. I just, like, I can't get enough of nude lipsticks no matter how many I have. And even if they are, like, totally similar to one another, I still continue buying them. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I just love nude lipsticks. Um, so I'm going to show you the ones that I have that I like the most. And some of them are drugstore, some of them are a little bit more expensive, but I have a good variety of them, and I will show you what they look like on my lips, as well as swatch on my hand. So I have my favorite nude lipsticks, and then I also have some, like, lip glosses and random things thrown in that I really like. A lot of my nude lipsticks tend to be on the pink or peachy side. Those are the shades that I like most on my skin tone, because a lot of times nude lipsticks can often make me look, like, kind of sick or something if they're not the right shade. So I do tend to lean more towards pink or peach tone nudes. And you'll You'll see that. Um, so let me start with the one that I have on my lips right now. Um, I have on the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I showed this in my previous video too. And this one is called Stockholm. So this lip cream I'm actually wearing along with a lip balm. I'm wearing just the sugar lip treatments because I find this lip cream to be really drying sometimes. So with the lip balm, it kind of keeps it a little bit more creamy. Um, when it does dry, because it's a matte uh, lip cream, it tends to kind of define like cracks and wrinkles in your lips. Wrinkles? I don't know if you have wrinkles in your lips. But like lines in your lips, and um, I don't particularly like that look. So. so using this with a lip balm keeps it kind of nice and creamy while you're wearing it. And I would say this is actually pretty close to my natural lip color. Um, my lips are a little bit more pigmented. They're like a dusty pink tone, I guess, but this is really close to it. The next one that I have is another NYX product. It is the Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and I really like these lip glosses. I've probably shown and mentioned this in a few other videos. This one is in the shade Smoky Look, and I really like this lip gloss because it goes on really natural, especially on my lips since they are a little bit pigmented. When this goes on, it's a little bit more on the sheer nude side, and I think it complements my natural lip color really well. And this particular one is like a peachy nude color. It does have some shimmer in it. Um, I don't really notice it that much on my lips, but it does make it um, look really shiny on your lips. And I know from the swatch it looks like it's really pigmented, but I feel like when you have it on your actual lips, it's pretty sheer. Okay, so moving on, a heavy lipstick from Rimmel. It's the Moisture Renew Lipstick in Nude Delight. It looks like this. And I have a few of these lipsticks, but I do really like them. I think they're really moisturizing. Let me swatch it for you. So again, this one is on the peachy nude side. This one is actually really similar to one of the MAC lipsticks that I really like. And I'll show you guys um, the comparison in a little bit. But I love this color. It's the perfect nude lip color for me. This color on me is like the perfect nude because it is like one shade lighter than my natural lip color. So it's not too light where it makes me look dead or ill. And so the only thing I don't like about these Rimmel lipsticks are the scent. So <laughs> that's the only thing. Okay, and next I have a Revlon lip butter, and this one is in creme brulee, and it looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen this plenty. This is what it looks like, and this is a really nude color, and these have really great color payoff, so let me swatch it for you to show you. So that's what it looks like right here. And this one, I would actually have to say it's a little bit more on the sandy nude side. I don't know if that makes sense. But it is a little bit lighter than most of my other ones, I feel like. When I initially purchased this, I did not like this on me at all. Like, it was way too light. It just did not look good on my skin complexion. But um, I actually mix this along with some of my pink lipsticks, and it creates, like, the perfect nude shade. So that's how I wear this um, lip color. And I love 
love the Revlon lip butters. I have only good things to say about them. So next one I have is a MAC lipstick. And this one I'm sure you guys are familiar with. Um, a lot of people love this one. Cream Cup by MAC. So I know a lot of people are thinking this might be a little bit more on the pink shade. It kind of is, but for me it is a little bit of a nude pink. So let me swatch it. And this one actually has a lot of blue undertones to it. So um, sometimes I can't really wear this. It depends on the season. I feel like when I'm a little bit more tan, this looks better on me. But this is more of a pinky nude lipstick that I have. Next I have a L'Oreal Color Juice. It's a sheer uh, juicy lip gloss. And this color is in peach. Looks like this. I've been using these for a really long time now, and um, I just recently repurchased some more because I do like these glosses a lot. I'll show you the color. Oops. So that's the color of the gloss right here. It is, again, a peachy nude lip gloss on my lips. And I like these glosses a lot. Like I said, they are a little bit thicker. I don't really mind that it's a little bit thicker consistency. Um, I find that they last a long time on my lips. Next one I have is another MAC lipstick. It's a cream sheen, and the color is Shy Girl. I think this was a part of a collection. I'm not positive though. But this is um, the one that is very similar to the Rimmel London Nude Delight lipstick and I'll swatch it here. So that's what this looks like and again very peachy nude and I want to show you guys the comparison of the uh, Nude Delight lipstick next to it. Okay so I have both the swatches on my hand. This is Nude Delight by Rimmel and this is Shy Girl by MAC. They literally look like the same shade lipstick, and they are both my absolute favorite nude lipsticks. So if you're really wanting to try that Shy Girl color by MAC, and if it is a part of a collection and now they don't have it, I would try the Nude Delight for sure. I love this color. I only have a few more left. So this one is a Victoria's Secret lipstick um, in the color Scrumptious. And this is what it looks like here. And I'll swatch it for you guys right here. These lipsticks are super creamy. I don't know if you guys have any of these lipsticks, but I find them to be like super creamy and I really like them. This color again is on the peachy nude side, so I'm sure by now you guys get that. I like that peachy nude tone. But you guys should go check out these Victoria's Secrets if you haven't. I really like them. I have a bunch of other colors and they are actually decently priced. So Okay, last but not least, I have a MAC Amplified Lipstick in A Perfect Day. And this was a part of... A collection I don't know the name of it I can't keep track of the MAC collections I just like I don't even try anymore but this is what it looks like it's super nude um, let me swatch it here I'm like doing a horrible swatch okay so that's what it looks like right here and this is actually really nude on my lips um, so sometimes I do have to be careful wearing this one because um, it doesn't always go well with my skin complexion but sometimes I can make it work I really like this lipstick regardless because it's super creamy so that does it for my favorite nude lipsticks hopefully you guys found some new colors you might want to try out and like this video if you guys are nude lipstick junkies just like me and also comment below if you guys have any nude lipsticks you want to see just to me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!